Hey everyone and welcome to this Marvel Snap review of Cersei, the brand new car to enter the world of Marvel Snap. Now on the Snapchat, Star-Lord himself had said that it was a three-star car. Now I argued with the other Star-Lord, Cozy Snap, and Car Cozy made the argument that it was a four-star card. Cozy did come into our chat confirming that he thought Cersei was a little sus. So, Cersei, where do we stand? I gotta be honest with you. If you like having fun, like wearing a helmet that's incredibly uncomfortable, that does not allow you to breathe, that's what playing Cersei's like. Someone in the Twitch chat, which you will see scrolling on the, the uh, screen here, did ask me, Alex, what's it like playing Cersei? And the answer was, it's like kicking yourself in the balls. And I stand by that statement. Cersei is extremely skippable. It is most certainly a two-star card. And you know what I gotta say? If you wanna save your keys, like I wanna save my breath, you do not buy Cersei. This is a skippable, uh, skippable card, friends. Don't get the card. It's fun as hell, though. I will say that if you're competitively minded, this card is incredibly skippable. But if you want to have fun, I've had some of the most insane highlights I've ever recorded on Twitch TV right here, right now, today. Cersei was an absolute clip festival. So yeah, it's fun as hell. But if you're someone who's free to play, if you're someone who has limited resources and you're saving your keys, especially for this upcoming month, you're going to want to probably skip this card. I don't necessarily suggest it. There are some cool synergies, but overall the decks have been pretty rough, okay? So I definitely am gonna lean towards this being a skip of the month. It's gotta be, I mean, Makari's pretty weak too. I don't see Makari being a good one. So if you're someone who's looking to save keys, I think you can do it right here. Let's talk about a couple decks here as we switch to the other view. Uh, so right off the top here, you might be thinking, Alex, Cersei and Annie, we talked about it potentially being really good. You can get that void, turn it into a five cost card if you don't draw your Nihilus. And uh, honestly, I was memeing a bit. I did use Uatu for like the highlights and like, I, I just love Uatu. I was looking for a reason to play Uatu. And I actually liked him. He gave us a couple dubs, but realistically, if you're going to play this deck, you take a Watu out, you put uh, Iceman in. Iceman's going to be better, but the deck performed really poorly for us. We did not get much going here. Uh, our win rate was sub 50%. It was not a strong performer. So if you want to experiment, you can, but it was more of a meme. We weren't actually experiencing that much uh, success with this particular deck. And then we said, okay, what about Baron Zemo? The idea of putting lots of stuff on your side of the board and then basically taking advantage of that, right? You're putting down all these uh, things. You're saying, okay, well, I got the Baron. He's a three cost. I pull a one or two out of their deck. I transform those. The deck performed a lot better than the first. It was playable. We won games. Our win rate was probably in like the mid 50s, low 60s, like that kind of range. I didn't actually check, but we were doing good. We were climbing. It was fine, but it wasn't good. Like most decks in Marvel Snap, they want an unfair advantage. And so this deck doesn't do that. It just doesn't do that, but it's still pretty good. But like Cersei doesn't make it actually any better, right? So this was like, okay, if you want to try, if you get Cersei and you want like a shell just to play with, this is a fun one. I'll tell you that. Like it's a fun one. It's worth playing. And then we tried something a little different. We said, okay. And this was actually an idea from the chat. Uh, chat suggested, hey, what about uh, Shuri and uh, Cersei? Because you can theoretically change Cersei into a five, uh, sorry, Shuri into a five costed card while also making uh, Cersei double in power. And the deck was actually pretty good, but not because of Cersei, right? Like it was good because Shuri's just good. Cersei was kind of like just Cersei. We just played it for the memes and it did stuff, I guess, right? So um, that, so if you want to play a deck, you can play this and it's like you're kind of coping with Cersei because like you don't really need Cersei. You cut this and you run a standard deck. You cut Cersei, you add armor back and you have basically a meta Shuri shell, right? Uh, but ultimately, if you pull Cersei out of a cache because you decide to roll because, you know, you got a little uh, a little inebriated, uh, then it's fine, right? You could you play, I would play this deck just because it's fun and it's like worth testing her out. And she she's very testable in this deck because you have so many cards on the board. Like you get the feel for Cersei, but yeah, it wasn't great. It definitely was not great. Um, what I will say as well as we cut back to Cersei here, um, final verdict. We did a vote in the chat. Chat said definite two star card. Massive vote for two stars. For me, I definitely think it's closer to two star. It's just, it's incredibly unreliable. It's fun as hell. But at the end of the day, as I said prior, definitely skippable, okay? Guys, these highlights you're about to watch are recorded live on Twitch TV. We're an absolute wonderful blast to record. It's also worth noting we're live right now for Twitch drops. You can see chat flowing here on the screen. So if you've not followed us on Twitch, definitely use the description, uh, the link in the description down below to join us. We have a ton of fun live. I'd love to see you here. If you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well while you're down there. It's incredibly supportive of my content. 
and I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. I'm telling you, after playing Uatu, I feel so vulnerable playing right. So unbelievably vulnerable. It's nerve-wracking. Oh. Oh my god, it's just... Dirty. It's just dirty. I'm gonna steal their cards. I know you're thinking, Alex, play the White Widow. But no, I'm gonna steal their cards over and over and over again. I'm gonna make them feel bad. I snap. I cable them over and over again. And eventually, the amount of emotional damage they suffer is just too much. It's just too much. Cool, I got an infinite. Oh. Now I feel bad. Now I feel real bad. We have to do this. Yes. Yeah, you ramp into that mana. You got me, man. You got me with all that extra energy. Bonk. Hopefully you didn't need that, dude. Alright. Okay. He's cooking. He has nothing in his hand and nothing in his deck now. He top decked a rock. I, I'll, let, I'll have inform you. So, I don't know what this gamer is expecting to do here. But we always win this game. Let's not play the rock. Let's send it. I want to lose this game so bad. Okay, Corvus. We got that extra energy. Nice. Alright, yeah, keep doing that. That's fine. Bishop into Wongers? Wait, Wongers? No, the Staggy! Chill! Oh my god, okay. It's not bad. No! Okay. Wait, wait. Wakanda forever. Ooh, Black Panther, let's go! That's, that's behind forever. a Wong and a Comartage. Oh my god, what the, That was ridiculous! Victory! Uh-oh, big uh-ohs. Let's get, get the Mooster Fantastic mid, come on. Sa let's take Sauron. Shuri, lol, okay. Alright, there's that. <clears throat> no. Alright. Let's just get this out. We always play Vision next turn anyway. Do we play Vision next turn? We could Vision because Mr. Fantastic wins, right? <clears throat> With Vision? Well, Vision just wins right anyway. We top deck Taskmaster, I cry. Ah, Taskmaster, not even here. Sure he gets top decked? Cersei's kind of useless here. I don't see how... I don't see how we ever play Cersei here. Uh oh. They're snapping. But I think we can Cersei. It's pretty good. They're snapping Shongers, I think. Oh, they got red skill? Saj. Okay. okay. This is good. This is good. <clears throat> they snapped us. Now, Typhoid's pretty good here. 
I think... I think I want to send this. Now, this is a 1-7. This is pretty good. For the memes, we're going to Cersei this. And to make sure this Red Hulk doesn't do anything, I'm going to sauce this, the Lizard over here. Now, in theory, you could just Lizard left and probably be fine with it. But we're going to be stupid and do this. It's always a Shang-Chi middle, by the way. Shang-Chi middle plus one. Plus two, apparently. Uh, classic Martyr gameplay. Alright, I think I'm done with Cersei. Yeah, this is... That's something. We, uh, we have some Spooderham gameplay. They are snapping on me. Not sure why. How Cersei performing? Man, I don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. Yondu! GG Hood? No, I feel bad. How dare you? Hmm. Piggy's now a zero cost? Saj. Okay, we do this. I'd like to piggy them as well. Oh, we're both rocks. Nice. Always Baron Zemo. And then we pump him with Glad and Spooderham. Could consider absorbing man. But I think we actually absorbing the Cersei for the memes. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. The humanity. The humanity. I'm going to do this so I have multiple Cersei plays. I'm not even going to play mid. I don't want to. Oh, yikes. That's bad. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. I see you there, sir. We got we to gotta block this void off in the event of a... Uh, a nihilist situation. Cersei, what you got for us? Another Spooder Ham, okay. White Queen? Not bad. Give me that uh, Red Hulk. Domino and a Nihilist. That's exactly what we were playing for. Very nice. And now we are going to Absorbing Man and we'll just uh, we'll sauce down a Shadow King. There's no way we lose this game. This is a 100% win rate play. Absorbing Man turns these two into just absolute chads. We never lose this. All right. Okay, Dazzler. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Cersei five stars. Victory. That's not bad. We take those games. That's not crazy. That worked pretty well. Um, the Gladiator not change. So in this case here, there's only one option. We have to cable. No, I hate not having a walk to. I literally don't know where I'm playing. If this is bar with no name, let it be known. I'm an Uatu believer. Okay. See, bar sinister. Now I'm kind of sad. We could put White Widow into bar sinister. But I kind of don't want to. I think we're going to play Cersei in bar sinister for the memes. No, no. We're Listen, we're, we're playing Cersei. I don't care about winning. We're going to Cersei right just to observe what happens. No, no, no. You guys want to win. No, that's not what we're doing here. You take that winning attitude and you miss me. We're sending Cersei right all day long. Oh, they hate this now. They're miserable now, friends. They regret all their choices. All their choices are regrettable. Cersei for science. Cer it looks, Cersei actually kind of looks like a science teacher. I can see Cersei working at the uh, uh, the Dumbledore School of Wizardry, teaching... Uh, what's a transmog? I don't know. What the hell would Cersei teach? She is a teacher? Is that true? I watched Eternals. I don't remember her being a teacher. Listen, as someone who's an expert in the Eternals, 
Oh my god, it's Jeff. Jeff actually is beautiful there too. How dare you make an actual good play, Ace? Oh, you know what? Red Guardian would pump these too. Oh. Okay, Juggernaut. Uh. War Machine? Clutch? APOC? Legion? There's no stream. Oh my god, Ultron! No! The humanity! Oh my god! I can't believe I just lost to this! Take your four cubes and leave, sir. Take your four. You earned it. I'm in actual pain. Give him the four. Ace deserves it. Kitty Pride. As Emperor Scorpion comes in with a subscription, hitting Agent Coulson feels bad. Hmm. I'm gonna wait on this. Yeah, we've done nothing but hit infinites right now, so. I was gonna say, where the hell did Sasquatch come from? That's a great prototype. Oh, yeah. Opponent snap. How can she snap? Are you kidding me? Would you like some Black Widow? Bambalam? Yes. Hopefully, you didn't want to draw cards. Oh, I see. You're playing some some Kitty Pride gameplay, is it? That's fair. That's fair. That's fine. I see you. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. We will Annihilus next turn. Shongers in reserve. Getting ready. He's just getting pumped up here. Hope he enjoys that. Oh yeah, it's a Machine World game. Forgot about that. Yeah. Machine World's gonna do this to you. I forgot about the Machine World gameplay. Um, they're probably gonna hate this. They can't even do it. I think I snapped back here. Uh oh. That is a Kitty Pride, however. Kitty Pride is gonna bounce back. It's unfortunate. Now they gotta win two locations here. They can't play cards everywhere. This wins here. Yeah, we, we actually have to play, it's unfortunate but we have to play Sasquatch here. And we probably play Demon here. Shang-Chi, Cersei. Look at that. That's such a low roll with Cersei too. Look how crap this low roll was. They still beat me for eight. Look at this. They go Bast, Medusa, Meek. That is the worst possible play for, uh, for Cersei. But uh, the 18 power in and of itself, plus the Elsa Bloodstone is enough to flip it. So this is a horrible roll, but it's just enough to beat me. I mean, you could argue that Medusa Bast and plus the fact that they flipped the negatives was enough. That's actually pretty cool. You'll love to see it. This has been absolute chaos all day. Every single game has been absolute chaos. Like, I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know if the card's good. If you're asking me if the card's good, I'm not sure. It's making hella great content, but like, would I play Cersei unironically in a tournament? Like, do you take Cersei to a tournament? That's the question. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. We have some actual Gilgamesh gameplay? What the hell? Gilgamid coming out for the dubs? What? Alright, well, we're flipping this. 
Okay, classic tempo red guardian. There was no way that was going to backfire. Okay, I like this claw. We will be drawing additional cards, maybe? Yeah. Okay, we, we get SK, Yondu. Always Cersei. Cersei never betrays us here. We probably claw into Yondu or something, right? Do we claw right now? Claw Yondu or just claw gets plus two? Yeah, right? Ultron somehow? Let's play claw. Let's just do this. Oh, blink. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's not even that good. Somehow All we're still going to be go. ahead? Well, kind of. I really want to play Cersei right for no reason. But we're not going to do that, because that's stupid. What we're going to do instead is we're going to Yondu into Cersei. Because <laughs> we're going to Sauce Claw. They always play here. We're going to win left with a huge six chunk. I don't care. We always play Cersei. Cersei never betrays us. Nothing in their deck. Cersei, two. Oh my God. 